there, folks. Now the business starts. Who's going to be New Zealand champion pre-1963? Courtesy of Oyster Cove Restaurant and Bar. Look at this Rickman Matisse. What a machine. Oh. I just love this. Got a friend of mine who's recently bought one. He's been using it for uh, scramble or old-fashioned motocross. So VMX, vintage motocross, or uh, grey beards. They go under a different classic scrambles. They go under a few various names. Rickman Matisse. They, you could easily put knobblies on this machine. Far more suspension. Look, they had telescopic. Wow, that was state of the art. Springs on the back with more than about four inches as well. So these were uh, great machines. So that same machine could exactly have knobbly tyres on it and go off-road as well. Most people left the mudguard down low as well, but on a muddy track, you'd want to lift the mudguard. Uh, the front one I'm talking about. So there you go, a beautiful Rickman Matisse. And this one's got the what people called the Matchy. And that's what it was called because it's the matchless engine. Matchless sort of went a little bit under the radar. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. Lovely power off the line. Good, yeah, nicely done, Gary. Local man in Vicargill, I'm proud of it. On the beautiful Rickman Matisse. Yeah, bring it on up, Graham, bring it on up. Mr. Uh, Graham Peters, folks. One of only uh, two competitors here, two people today that have been to every Burt Munro Challenge, every one of them, and he's one of them. All the way from uh, Pahongana in the uh, Manawatu, up underneath the hills of the Ruahini Ranges, north of Palmerston North. So uh, Pahongana, Mr. Graham Peters, look at that BSA Gold Star. A classic bike of its era. Another one as well that was just a verse in scramble as it was at road events as well. The Gold Star was an amazing bit of machine from BSA, Birmingham Small Arms. Of course, originally uh, manufactured firearms and then went on to make beautiful motorcycles. The brand BSA. Had the opportunity to go to Birmingham as well. There's a great motorcycle museum at Birmingham. Had the privilege of uh, viewing that in 90, uh, sorry, 2007 when I did my uh, one and only tour to the UK. So worthwhile going, folks, to Birmingham. Birmingham Motorcycle Museum. Yeah, good on you, Graham, hooking up. If he don't win the trophy today, I'll eat my hat. He's got so many trophies. He's a multi-times winner of this event. So one of the fastest pre-1963 races you'll find around, Graham Peters. All right, let's rock him up. Let's rock him up. Bruce Aiken out of Walkworth, way up there north of Auckland. He had to come across the Harbour Bridge to get all the way to Invercargill. It's not his fault he lives up there. Probably got to have a job. But he knows where to come to for Motorcycle Mecca, that's for sure. Because that's what this place is. It's almost like it should be the nickname for Invercargill Motorcycle Mecca. Not just the classic museum that we love on Tay Street. Oh, nice work as he peels it into that first corner on the Triton, the Triumph, the T120, the 650 Triton. Triton, of course, and then it became Trident. Here's the Velo, here's the Velo, Mr. Bill Swallow. Well, this is only the 250. I'm blown away by it as a 250cc bike. Typical of Velo set. Uh, uh, I've got a friend of mine who's super biased about Velo. He says they're the only British motorcycle, he calls them, the only British motorcycle. And he's got a number of them, including a beautiful Thruxton. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, a nice start, Bill. Good to see you get away on the uh, on the Velo, courtesy of Phil Price and Nick Thompson. Hey, the big new feature this year, folks. You've seen the hot mix. You've seen the hot mix. The tar seal used to be like that. Now we've got some hot mix. Probably might be allowing to give about... I reckon it would probably give a, a good uh, maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.4 of a second on that first corner. Far more traction than conventional tar seal the hot mix, so nice to see. Might see a record time this year. Byron Clothier out of Katakati on the beautiful uh, Norton Goethe Fork. What does Goethe Fork mean? When you look at the front suspension, there is no, they're not telescopic. In the oh, good start. Launched it off the line. That was great. Almost sounds for a fraction like he's going to stall it, but he got the launch, so nice done, Byron. Byron Clothier out of Caddy Caddy up there in Kiwi Fruit Country in the Bay of Plenty. 
271 now, Rod Hale on this lovely little uh, Triumph 350. To uh, pre 72s, pre 72s on the line, thank you. Pre 72s, pre 72 followed by uh, pre 82s, oh. pre 72s uh, to the start line now. Pre 72, oh, Rod, no, he didn't quite get as uh, follow the start as he'd had in the previous run, not quite as good. This is a time on courtesy of Legend Classic Races. Pre-72, pre-82, pre-82, your call as well, pre-82. All right, uh, 13 up now, 13, here it is. Another big, beautiful Norton. Another machine, of course, uh, British technology of its time, gear change on the right hand side. Well done to the Goethe Forks boys. Pre 72, pre 82, pre 72, pre 82. And uh, now pre 89 as well. Thank you, pre 89, making your way up pre 89. Here we are, one of the all round. Uh, Heroes of pre-72 racing, Mr. Vince Burrell on the Moto Gutsi. Here he is, courtesy of uh, Gutsi uh, Cafe, Red Lion Oils, uh, KRS Engineering and uh, Tio Llamas. So well done. I just love that V-twin. Hey? Very classy helmet. I wouldn't have thought a head like his was worth all that value, actually. Very nice. Uh, Vince got some beautiful uh, A stars. Beautiful drive into the corner as he peels it through. He went quite high on the brow, if you notice, as he swooped on through and got some momentum around that corner. So. Good to watch. Here we are with our uh, Bluff Foursquare, pre-89. You're called at a dummy grid, pre-89. Pre-82, you should already be there. Thank you. 18, Mr. Kevin Ryan. Here we go. Pike River Tribute, the Pike 29. 29 miners still uh, lost in that cave. But thank you, government, for uh, making every attempt to bring them out. It is New Zealand's uh, right to have them saved. And uh, long may it be. Part of the Good on you, Kevy. Through the corner he goes. Nice to watch Mr. Kev Ryan. Along with uh, Doug Peters, they're the only two competitors that have been to every Burt Munro. So nice to have him. Doug, here you are. Mr. Doug Fairbrother. They call it the Spartan. This is the BSA. Look at this. 139. Here to see if that bike trans lead the leathers. <laughs> I can see the uh, rev counter looking over his right shoulder. There you go, Doug. Nice work to get away. The man from Greytown in South Wairarapa, just over the uh, hill from Wellington through the Rimatakas, as they're now calling it, Rimatakas. It's not the Rimu, it's a Rimu, if you get the idea. It's actually been completely renamed. Long time people thought it was associated with the Rimu tree, as in Rimu Tucker, but they've actually realised it's got an E in there. And they are now um, almost rebranding it. The Rimu. Re, if you get the idea. All right, Butch, good on you, Butch. Love to have you with us. Butch Woods out of Alexandra in Central Otago. The, the Norton Commando. The 750. By the way, this uh, class has got nothing to do with the size of the bike or the looks of the rider that's on it. It's all to do with the age of the bike. So this is effectively from uh, 1963 to 1972. Here we go. So 75 now for Dylan Stanley. It's 
Sounds nothing like a uh, Honda 450 that uh, my friend had. 1972, he bought his one in 74, the first year I bought my first Japanese bike. Oh. For me, uh, 45 years ago today, the anniversary of when I uh, first started work. All the trivial stuff that life takes on. Yeah, loving and peeling over into that corner. Good work, good work. Yes, indeed. Uh, Bluff Foursquare Supermarket, proud to be behind our class. So here we go now, a couple of pre, uh, in fact there's only been one of them in the end, there's been a withdrawal of the other rider, so it's only one rider in our Southport pre-82 class, and that has been the local man, Chris McMeekin. As I said, you've got to go to the prize giving for his jokes, all right? So we're going for his joke afterwards. And his dry sense of humour is wicked. It's worthwhile going for the jokes, and it's free to enter. All right, prize giving afterwards down there at the Golden Age in Anchorage. You'll love it. <laughs> oh, 24 away, Chris. Oh, not the best of starts, but not bad, not bad for the local Invercargill man on the Catherine Street Medical Centre, Thompson's Furniture, Singleton Signs, JRL Tuning Bike. All right, pre-89s, pre-89s, courtesy of Fobo Dairy and GAS, Gasoline Alley Services, post-classic pre-89. Here he is, Mr Gary Jamison, Sir Gary, who will almost be called this man. Proud to be uh, part of the organising committee. He's done so much for this event for so many years. Thank you to Gary. He's hosted me and my visits here to uh, Southland and many times, and along with lovely wife uh, Debbie, he has his passion for motorcycle and his bike as well. So uh, thank you, Gary. The SS 750, courtesy of Top Cars and Commercial, Clyde Street here in Invercargill, and at ducatyspares.co.nz. Good on you, Gary. Good work, good work through there. Pre-89, close gas, GAS, Gasoline Alley, right here in the Gore Street. That's the main street of uh, Bluff. 103, 103, local man, John Rock. Got to, got to meet this guy, folks. He's a fantastic, big, tall man, but man, has he ever got a smile on his face and his voice. Just loves life and lives it, and he's got a great bit of machinery here. So go and say hi to John when you're walking through the pits. I hope none of you are just walking back down the road here when you're going out. Take a detour, walk around the streets and go past some of the cool guys. Do a loop and get to meet them all and say hi, shake their hand and say, thanks for the entertainment today, guys. We love what you've done. So uh, it's a, the least you could do for providing the entertainment that we joined here today for the classic motorcycle mega in Vicargo. New Zealand Hill Climb Championship. Oh, a little bit of chatter, but he settled it down before he got the power on and uh, broke the light and away he went. 61 now for Paul Fisher. Now, this is a later version of the same bike that we've just seen Gary Jamison go up. So it too is a 750 SS, probably for me, my all-round favourite to Ducati. Mate, the 903 Peso was one that I loved as well, but these bikes are a classic and they're great to see. You've got to get to an event called uh, Sound of Thunder, of course, at Ruapuna held later this month. I think it's uh, from memory in uh, two two weeks this coming weekend, two weeks' time, and we will see, uh, I'll tell you what, there'll be uh, as many Ducatis there as you probably think were ever made, but you get the idea. Lots of them. They're a popular bike in um, Bears or uh, Sound of Thunder racing. The Italians have come to town. Yes, indeed, that's the E of Bears, British, E, European, and uh, these are some of your European brands and the beautiful Ducati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to it. Start to rev it up. Start to rev it up. The classic sound of a Ducati. Oh, just felt he should have been a little higher in the revs before he let the clutch out, but had it controlled, but just had that flat spot before he could really get the power down. Building up now, there's uh, last few bikes ready to go here for our uh, pre-89s, courtesy of Fovo Dairy, gasoline area. Reminder, folks. Please fuel up your uh, bikes while you're down here. No service station in town supporting this event. And you can say you're fueled up at the world's most southern service station. All right, here we are. Uh, 20 up, 20 up. Here we go. So uh, 20 here. Nigel, good on you. He calls himself the Jaffa. And he's always had that bright colour. There he is. The visor goes down on the Aero helmet. You see that? Down it goes. They clip into place automatically there. You've got the little catch that you can just release them again. So Because if you have them too early, they'll fog up inside. He's got some lovely knee sliders on there, bright and yellow, so he can lay it down over on those corners and uh, not get his uh, body uh, wrecked and ruined. 
Oh, living up, Nigel. Away goes on the little triple four, the four, 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 the four cylinder, four stroke Kawasaki. Three, six, seven, Willie Simpson on the little Nugget Lodge Yamaha FZ400. Uh, Willie again, back with Willie. So uh, Willie Simpson here on the famous uh, Delta box frame when Yamaha made these was revolutionary, of course. Remembering five valves per cylinder, five. Everybody went, wow, what kind of technology is that? And they had the Delta box frame. They were revolutionary of their era. So uh, some uh, great machines of the late 80s. The FZR range from Yamaha. Classic motorcycles and lovely to see them still presented as beautiful as ever here at our racetrack today. Fovo Dairy and Gasoline Alley. Two to go, 7.50 up now. Brian Stevens, local man, all round nice guy. Good on you, Brian, lovely to see you. Look at this uh, GS, man, it's a beauty. It's a GSXR 1100, arguably the, this was the first of the 1100s. The uh, bikes had been uh, up to 1,000 cc before that. This is where they went to 1100, back up to, a, it might have been called 1100, but they actually were at 1135, so they were well over the 1100 cc. So uh, here, but, and one to go for Mr. Kevin Kingham, uh, a journalist extraordinaire. There'll be write-ups and magazines and his uh, uh, website coming up, Vanishing Point, so uh, check on all the work he's doing. He also works for Pro Rider. What is Pro Rider? It's officially helping you to ride a motorcycle better. If you heard of the Pro Rider franchise, uh, Kevin is a uh, effectively a tutor of people to learn how to ride. You might be 50 years of age, you might have uh, ridden a motorcycle uh, like me for many years, but you're never too old to learn. So do go and take an opportunity. The name to remember is Pro Rider. Get on your cab, there he goes. At home in, uh, in uh, Pyro or Waihi, up there on the Hauraki Plains. Well, there we go, folks. Uh, taking a little bit of a break. Do watch out. They'll have all of those riders. We'll give you a call shortly. Time to grab your coffee. Time to grab your donuts. Time to grab your merchandise. Time to go and see some of these people. Meet a new friend here today and go and see in the pits. Get their autograph and say thank you. Remember, give them a handshake and say we're enjoying uh, your entertainment. So please, the least you can do is to say I've had a great day. Go and say thank you to any one of them. You don't have to go on all of them. Your arm will have fallen off by the end of the day. But please... Just go and say hi and meet a new hero right here at the uh, classic motorcycle uh, Mecca New Zealand Hill Climb. <laughs> 